YouTube. Okay. Um, I just want to show you guys this new hack I made. Um, it has a logging in. It has a whole login system with a database, and uh, the login system was made by Dev Eclipse. Uh, like that. Um, I'm gonna have the link to his channel and the video if you want the source in the description. See, this is his login system, which works very well because on the first boot up, it asks for you to create an admin account, and um, from then on, it won't show you that screen anymore. It'll just go straight to the login screen, which I like that very much. And then I made the hack. It's not a very impressive hack. Very, very very noobish, that's why it just pings the IP you enter in with however much data you put in, but I set it to just go on and on and on and on until you cancel the pinging, and pinging is just kind of like DDoSing, but very, very weak, and probably can't do anything with it except lag them, so... I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then if you type it wrong, incorrect. Then if you type it right, it should log you in. Since see since I'm an admin, it says administrator at the top. I can send messages to any other user, but there is no other users right now. See, I, I sent one. I made this temporary uh, account and then I sent it hi just testing and then I logged in as it and I saw that it actually got through. And then if I edit my settings, I can change my password, username, multi-user function enabled. Um, and then this is where I can add, watch, if I add the, the account back. Add, see it said got in. Save changes, yes, okay. Now if I go to message system and I go to, I can send it to him. And I can say, hi, okay. Now I do send message, message was sent successfully. Now if I log out and then log in as it oops. If I go to message system, look, see? Hi L O L message that's the message I wrote. Then it shows me from to Eclipse message system and then the date and the time. And if you see here it just says limited access because I'm not an admin and I can't I can only edit my user and password and message I can't do anything else and then oh gosh whatever I don't know why that happened that never happens okay well let me just open it back up again oh what's going on there we go okay um, now if I log back into myself I also added a hack function and I can also delete people's accounts watch delete they're gone save changes save yes and then if I do hack it lets me select where I want it and then I select my DDoS hack right here then I do start hack which opens it up see denial of service attack DDoS created by special bear that is me welcome to my DDoS or please enter a host IP and then you can just enter their IP and if you want to attack a website just type in the website's IP see I'm just gonna do Google so you guys can see actually no I'm gonna you do youtube.com and then if you click enter then it'll say packet size then you want to do 6500 which is the max then attacking enabled and then it says IP whatever you entered in and then it'll start pinging YouTube with 6500 bytes of data which is what we entered in on packet size and then it'll just tell you the time it took for it to reply and this TTL I don't have no idea what it is and then bytes is just that's what you're sending to it so you're sending it 6500 bytes of data just, just so it's kind of like if 6,500 people were connecting to YouTube all at once. Well, not, not probably not 6,500. Forget what, forget that, because that's really off. Trust me, um, that's a lot. That's not. That's a lot less. It's barely. That's like like two people c just connecting to it. It's not even like watching a video. And then um, because it's only bytes. And um, but like if you ping like just another person. Like not not a whole industrial website. Um, 
if it's like a basic website, sucky website, you'll probably be able to like lag it or take it down and um stuff like that. But um it, but I mean um like YouTube you couldn't take down and just another random friend of yours or something, if you get their IP address, um then you can do it to them and they'll probably just lag and maybe they'll go down probably not but look if i open up kane and abel to see other people's ip addresses um let me just open it up for you real quick i'll have the link to download this it's oxid.it it loads it's on the it's on the splash screen and then when it opens up you hit this little motherboard chip looking thing it's called a sniffer then you hit the sniffer tab here and then you look at um whichever thing Microsoft if, if you have this that probably means you have like an Xbox or something I have an Xbox that's why it's there these two I have no idea what they are this I have no idea what it is but I know Light On is a company of my DVD drive on my Xbox and then this is me and then you click plus click OK, and I'll scan, and then you go to APR down here, and you do, um, click here, add, then this one, then all these, OK, and hit this little nuke button, then their IPs will come down right here, and then it'll have their IP here, then just ask them where they live, and then type in their IP, and if it shows where they live, I just go to whatsmyip.org. And then go to IP location. Then you see, look, let me do 208.88.186.4. 208.88.186.4. Dot one six one eight six. Dot four. Show location. Holy crap. Where the hell is this? Whatever that is. It's in this place. Whatever this is. Estonia. And then that conclu and then if it shows where they live, then you know it's done. Then you get you type this IP address into the DDoS right here. Right as the host. And then happy hacking. Um I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to help me out. And peace out.